<clears throat> Amateur artist Mark D. Chandler from Manland. Yeah. Some of y'all on the last video told me to go see the tooth doctor. Yeah, I did. And he went and pulled my tooth. Now look, I ain't feeling no pain right now because of that Novocaine stuff they shot in there. That's a good deal. But it didn't give me no pain for that $186 that's now pain in my ass. He didn't give me no Novocaine for that. It hurt. So the next time somebody tell me to go see the tooth doctor, I'm going to send y'all to see the tooth fairy yourself. So anyway, check out this video here. It's about stainless steel, carbon steel, and some cast iron. It's a nice little tip. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell them. I know, I don't sound right. My mouth is full of cotton wool right now. You know, try to keep it from bleeding and all that stuff. So anyway, let me hush up. Watch this video. Nice little tip. And the ironic thing is, <laughs> I'm wearing a blue shirt, but it ain't the same shirt. What's ironic is the shirt I'm wearing in the video you're about to see. Actually, it's the dentist that I went to see. It was Wee Wee's shirt that I had on. And now, here's the result. He gave me a free shirt, though, just like the one she got. Mm-hmm. $186. You better believe he gave me something. For those of you who may be familiar with my channel, if you've been watching my channel a good bit, you know that I'm a lover of the Stanley Adventure Camp Cook Set. This is my original cook pot. And don't it look kind of nice? Yeah, it's actually cleaner than it ever has been. There's the improvised lid that I placed on there, but look at the bottom. You can actually read what's on the bottom now. If you remember seeing this in previous videos, this thing was, I would say, well seasoned with uh, campfire smut. <laughs> it had a great patina on it, and I decided to try this technique on my original and it worked like a charm now the darkness you see there that is actually what I call heat damage or heat use uh, you can't remove that using this technique but what is the technique let me show you it's called easy off oven cleaner the heavy-duty brand and nope I didn't invent this myself I actually saw this right here on another YouTube channel the culinary fanatic make sure yeah, the culinary fanatic. See, I got my notes there. That's Jeffrey B. Rogers, culinary fanatic. He uses Easy Off Oven Cleaner, heavy duty, to strip down pre-seasoned cast iron. And I said, well, heck if it does that, because I tried it and it worked. I said, I wonder how well it works on steel. And I found out it actually works good. <laughs> yep, works good on that carbon steel but don't use it on aluminum now the videos that I shot you're not gonna believe this so I brought out one of the painters I actually shot a pan this is one of them this is not the final product this right here is actually a camping pan that I've been using there to vu been using here at the house been using it on charcoal the whole nine yards you see what I'm talking about all that grease that build up and stuff on the bottom the inside is not too bad, but it still has some type of residue around the lips, that type of area. Well, this one right here I'm going to show you, this is after the treatment. A little bit larger pan, but in the same condition. It's nice and shiny now. We can actually signal some planes as they go by for an SOS mode. There's the back side. There again, you see a little bit of that heat damage on there. There's a few spots that this treatment didn't do, but this was one treatment. That's right, one. You can actually do this two to three times. This is stainless steel. It doesn't mess the stainless steel up. It doesn't etch it down. But then again, it does not remove the so-called heat damage. As evident as the Stanley there. Because this thing right here, I've been using it to dry bake in. I've been, I have really abused this thing. And it is still percolating like a chimp. Now that's the only tip I can give you right now use that easy off oven cleaner but there's one other thing I want to say you notice that I said that this carbon steel <laughs> is inside this pan that pan is full of vinegar I'm gonna say it's a 50 50 type of mixture that vinegar let me explain something this easy off removes that carbon buildup the seasonings on the pan the vinegar at the end removes the rust it's very easy 
very little elbow grease and there's the pan right there all nice and shiny down toward the metal I say nice and shiny you can see the heat damage you know what I call heat usage but it's back down to the bare metal so I'm gonna season this thing here up and that will be another video so there's your Manland 121 tip actually it's from the culinary fanatic I gotta give them credit where credit's due ain't no doubt about it and that's a Manland 121 guarantee y'all take them easy and take them care until next time bye bye